What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we are back here with another video. Now, I know as you can see by the thumbnail and the title, yes, I will be showing you the best lockdown build on NBA 2K24. This build can guard one through five and will have, when I tell you, your opponents wrecked, it will have them wrecked. Y'all know when I make a build, I'm not just going to show y'all any type of build. I'm going to show y'all the best possible build that I feel is best for you and anybody on this game. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was changing a lot of stats during this gameplay. Just let me cook up. If you trust me, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and press the subscribe button. Because look, 2K25 is right around the corner. And when I mean right around the corner, it is right around the corner. They did release news today or yesterday whenever this video is dropping. But y'all already know, just because they release news on 2K25 does not mean people are still not watching 2K24. Just because you might not watch it, other people might still watch it. Hey, but let's get into the video. As you can see, I tweak these stats to perfection. When I mean perfection, I mean perfection. I chose small four because if you're going to play lockdown on a build, or if you want to play at least a three if you're in the stage, you can make it a small four or a power four. It really don't matter the height for real. I'm lying. The height does matter. I made it 6'7 because you're able to guard small guards, plus you're able to really, you know, get up against centers unless you're running the three on this build. Now, if you're running the three, you just got to be nice on this build. Now, this build does get bronze anchor. You won't be able to get blocks a lot on this build, but it's at least good to have it on this build. You can get blocks on this game, kind of, but it's not really that good i'm not gonna lie it's not really that good for my experience just playing this game and seeing how this game is going but for the perimeter defense i did push it all the way up so you can get hall of fame clamps hall of fame challenge you get gold fast feet you're gonna be able to clamp up your defenders if you have on the right motion styles and you can play defense now for the past actually i wasn't really worried about that too much you feel me i was really just trying to tweak the finishing and the defense really because I know if I can tweak these two to perfection, and in this game, you do not need drive and dunk. You can use standing dunk if you want to. I did end up putting standing dunk on this build. You will see later into the video as it keeps going. I did end up putting standing dunk on this build because you really don't need a high standing dunk in this game. All you really need is maybe like two packages is where you can unlock Ben Simmons standing dunk. He has a good one in Draymond. Those are the only two standing dunk packages that I use on this game. Those are the only two really good dunk packages that I use on my um 6A build that I released a video on. Check that video out if you haven't watched it already. Now, when I tell you those are the only two dunk packages you really need, those are the only two dunk packages. They are good. They haven't got me blocked. They haven't caused me a game yet, nor will they ever because, I mean, it is the end of 2K24 and this cycle. Like I said, 2K25 is around the corner. Now, look at the defense. I was tweaking. I was like, man, look at the defense on this build. It is nice. Now, you do get the gold fast feet. That is good enough. I get gold fast feet even on my um, 6A point guard. Like, he's nice. I'm telling you. But I did put the speed up to where you can get it at an 85. And I did. I'm telling you, at this point, I was really just trying to tweak stuff to make this build perfect. You don't need a high three ball in this game to shoot the ball. I don't know why, but in this game, your midi is more important than your three-pointer. Because if you have a high midi rating, you can save points on your shooting or just save points in general. If you have a high midi and have a low three ball, it's good. You'll be able to work. Now, I was tweaking the free throw. I'm like, man, you really don't need the free throw. But if you want to use this build, you can use this build whenever you really want to. Wherever you want to. I mean, hey, you the lockdown. If you're going to clamp something up, go clamp something up. Now, the defense on this build is looking good. Now, you see, I was trying to tweak some stuff like, ooh, can I get a little bit of standing dunk on it? Like I said, I did tweak it to where you can get standing dunks on this build. Now, at this point, I was like, is this build perfect? Is it done? So at this point, I was really just checking to make sure is this everything that I really would like in a build, you know, not trying to give y'all no bad build because I told y'all I don't just release any build just for myself. If I release a build, it's going to be the best possible way for me. And I'm not just releasing anything like most people, you know, when they release builds, they go high slashing, 
high shooting, playmaking, a little bit to no defense. I can't do that. I ain't gonna lie. If you're looking for a build like that, I really cannot do that. I gotta have something on defense. Just a little something because y'all know, even if most people say, oh, you don't need defense on this game, you a little guard. Look, they say what they say, but when the game is on the line and you kick in and your player need that defense and you can't get that stop or at least get in front of the defender to stop them because this game wants to cheat for that one point, that's when I'm going to get mad at the build and want to delete it. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to want to delete it because it's like I could have just put defense on this build to start off, but I'm over here listening to everybody else and they screwing me over. Like, what am I doing? But as you can see, I was tweaking the defensive rebound. I'm like, I really don't need it. The only reason I toned the defensive and the defensive rebound down was because I thought you could at least get, you know, I was trying to get, at least get silver anchor. But I'm like, I can't even get silver. If I can't even get silver, I just need to tone most of this stuff down because what is it good for? I can't get silver anchor, but I get silver post lockdown. People don't even play in the post on this game unless you're guarding a post score. And the only way you guard a post score on this game really is if you go to the stage 1v1 or if you go to the just 1v1 theater. That's the only place you're going to play a center. So post move lockdown is irrelevant. You don't need that at all. Like, I'm still looking at the defense about, I'm like, okay, we, we, everything is good. I'm like, can I tweak it for something else? I'm just looking through everything at this point. I'm like, it got to be something else I can tweak this for. So, I'm tweaking the shooting a little bit. I'm like, it's really no shooting. If I tone this down, I don't get no extra shooting badges if I do tweak something. So, then I was like, look at the speed with Bob because y'all do know you can get the pro dribble style. I don't know what the rating is. I was really trying to find out the rating before I recorded this video. But I really couldn't find out the rating for it. So I was like, hey man, just forget it. But Pro Dribble Style is the best dribble style. And I'm pretty sure you can get it on this lockdown build. If you know how to do the move. If you do not know how to do the move, that video is on my shorts channel too. It is very useful. I'm telling you. When I tell you that Pro Dribble Style is good, it's good. I just use it maybe like for a couple games. And it is kind of glitchy. People might say, oh, it's not useful. Why are you teaching people how to use it at the end of the game? Look, don't worry about it. It ain't for you. That's for other people that need to do it if they want to learn. Now, I told you, I did end up putting standard nug on this build. I do believe with this rating, you can get the Ben Simmons package if that's the only one you can unlock. It's good enough. I'm not going to lie. The Ben Simmons package is good enough for you to use. Now, at this point, this build is mostly complete to perfection. When I mean perfection, I mean perfection. Other people might not agree with it. You don't got to agree with it. Just know, this build is, look, perfect lockdown. One through five where you're going. Four walls in a box. Is it Christmas? I'm going to give you a Christmas present because guess what? You're not going nowhere. It's a box. When you put this build and when you upgrade this build, you're going to be in a torture chamber four walls it's dark you can't see nothing because guess what it get bad you feel me now look i'm telling you it's complete now once you complete everything you can go ahead and press the button you feel me go on and press the button i mean it ain't nothing too hard now once you do everything the build does come out too before we talk about the build title let's look at the shades of it you feel me? Well, anybody really care about Chase for real? Chris Mullen, PG, OG, and OB. Who cares? The build comes out to a two-way inside the arc thread. Now, if you like content like this, please don't forget to subscribe for more. It's been your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Still out here grinding like always, man. And I'm out. Peace.